All right, so thanks to Paul from Click, I am now exploring Click Cloud and I have created my own little Click Cloud called Story by Data. And in this little video, I wanna show you how we can create an app in Click. I'm fairly new to Click, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a cloud in the personal space called Superstore. And I'm going to, oh, I guess I have to log in. Um, probably been too long since I logged in since yesterday. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start again. I'm gonna create, create, create app, Superstore, and click create. All right, so I've got a app now. I'm gonna go ahead and click into it. And I'm going to add data. So to get started, we always have to add some data. There are several options for, you know, Google Drive, Salesforce, Oracle, and so on. And I'm gonna go ahead and load um, the Superstore data set. There it is, my sample Superstore data. Um, I've used it a lot with other visualization tools, kind of as a learning experience. It looks like everything loaded in properly. We've got all the column headers. So these are tables, I think. The next step here is to click add data. And let's see how long it takes. Last it took um, probably 15 or 20 seconds. Oh, eight seconds to load that entire data set. That wasn't that fast. So the cool thing here is it's saying you can find new insights in your data. Now I'm pretty familiar with this data set and I know there are the fields available here. Um, but let's say we wanted to see sales by segment and click enter. What Click will do is actually create a couple of charts for you. We've got sales by segment as a bar chart, we've got it as a table. Um, we can do, instead of sum, we can change this to, I believe if we just say average, it will change it to average, so it changes the calculation. Who this is great for is somebody who's not very familiar with data visualization tools. Um, there is, seems like there's no programming, no no code uh, unless you wanted to see the code, which uh, Paul showed it to me yesterday and that was pr pretty cool. But um, let's say we like this view of average sales by segment. We can go ahead and add this sheet and we can create a new sheet. Let's say we also want to look at um, sales by city, okay? Just because we're, we're curious as to where the sales are coming from, it, it's going to give you a nice little map view. So I'm gonna add this sheet. And then in order to see something over time, let's say sales by order date. And let's look at sales by order date. Oops, click enter. So far, just a few minutes in and we already have all of these great charts. So I'm gonna add this to sheet. Now, in order to see the sheets, we just click on um, look at my new sheet and here are our three charts that we've just put together and we can change the sizing of these charts by, I believe you could just drag it. Let's see. Edit, yeah, I don't see the option to, to change it. Maybe click edit. Nope, that's something else. Oh, I'll figure that out. Um, but we can update the title. So let's call this sales analysis. Um, and that changes the title up here. I'm gonna go ahead and move this here for now. We've got uh, grid spacing. We can, let's say, make this medium. We can update the line chart. You see there are several options here. We've got presentation, we've got color legends, um, X, Y, order date. Um, we can, let's see, look at the presentation, change this to an area chart, which it's really hard to see because um, there's so much variance, but able to see that. Um, missing values, you know, do you want to show them as zeros? We can look at, let's see what else is in appearance. We can look at colors. Let's see, we could change, change it to by measure, right? Let's say we want to do it by average sales. So it changes that from yellow to orange. Um, and let's say we want to change bar chart as well. And I'm going uh, a little bit fast here, but I just wanted to show kind of how how quick and easy it is to really get started with click. And I, so far, I really love it. So let's see if we want to change this to um, orange as well, just to kind of 
be consistent, we can do that. Now, I'm still really exploring and learning about all of these tools and options in, in this tool. But at this point, I'm going to click done. Um, it's looking pretty cool. And I think the other cool thing that he showed me yesterday was you can make selections um, using this little filter. Let's say if you only wanted to see, um, let's say, east, east region, you just type in the word east and select it and then it will filter it out. Or if you wanted to see stuff about consumer segment only, you can click on that and it adds a filter to consumer. Or if you wanted to see, you know, 2012 dates only, so order ID only 2012, so it filters that as well. Um, and you can also remove filters, you can click on them and add, you know, let's say add corporate back in, so you make that, um, make that update and then it'll include the other segment. And let's see, let's click out order ID um, and region. So now we have two segments that we're looking at. Um, let's see, this I believe is a lasso tool. If we wanted to analyze just those areas, it, it will update as well if we click, click enter. It will give you a little bit more focus. You also have tool tips so you can get more information on, you know, this is Jamestown, Buffalo, here are the average sales. Um, you know, here's Columbus, Grove City, Columbus. So pretty cool if you ask me. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, yeah, I really like Click at this point. So now I'm learning Power BI, I'm learning Click. I know Tableau pretty well, but all in all, I think the three of them are pretty similar. There are several other things that, um, that he showed me yesterday in terms of data and how we connect to different data sources. So I thought that was really cool. Um, but I just wanted to keep this to a short video where I show you some of the different charts and capabilities. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon.